follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Cinderella. Hello, Mr. Green. Have a nice mm -hmm. day. You too. Yes, it's a letter from Papa. I can't wait to read it. <laughs> oh, give me that. It's addressed to me, isn't it? Huh? My dearest Dalvin, I hope this letter will find you and our three daughters well. I've been thinking a great deal about their futures during my long travels, and I feel the time has come to find Catherine a husband. And as luck would have it, our neighbor, Duke Sorrel, had a very fine young man present himself to me. <laughs> Sorrel won't get away with this. He wants to marry off my girls just so his daughter can marry Prince Charles. Mother, your tea. Do you have good news from Papa? He's fine, but the rest of the letter is private. Will he be home soon? No. Hm. Huh. Ah. Yes, I am brilliant. Catherine! Jean! <gasps> he can't be serious. I'm sure he is. But I don't want to. Listen to my plan, girls. You're brilliant, Mother. That's your best idea ever. We must act quickly. Uh... <laughs> 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 it's perfect. Yes, I agree. You actually look quite lovely. But why am I getting all dressed up? Cinderella, you have the right to look elegant once in a while. You are part of a very noble family. I want you to wear this. It's the latest fashion in necklaces. I haven't even worn it yet. It's just what that dress needs. Excellent choice, dear. Oh, Cinderella, our hand-me-downs look wonderful on you. If we could just change your hair. Uh, why am I... Uh, what are you... Uh, our visitors arrived, and early. Zaral's doing, I'm sure. Jean, Catherine, go down and greet our guest. And remember why he's come here. Yes, yes Mother, Mother, we will. Welcome to our humble home. I'm so sorry if you had to wait for us, sir. Not at all, Madam Duchess. We are a tad early. It's very gracious of you to escort this young man to our home. Father wanted to, but something came up. What a shame. You will send him my regards. Let me present my childhood friend, Mr. Florent Melville. My girls and I are honored to meet you, Mr. Melville. Likewise, ladies. Yes, welcome. Why don't we have tea? If you'll pardon me, Duchess, I'm not quite sure which one of your girls is Catherine. Oh, well, actually, <laughs> I would like you to meet Cinderella. Cinderella, it's so nice to see you again. How have you been? I'm fine, Isabel. How are you? I wasn't aware that you knew my daughter. Not many people do. <laughs> However, I was under the impression we were to introduce Florent to Catherine. I'm afraid your father has gotten my girls mixed up. In the letter we received from my husband, only Cinderella's name is mentioned, and all of the plans for the marriage with Mr. Melville are for Cinderella. Uh, he has a lot on his mind. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be on my way home. I'm sure you don't need me. You'll be in wonderful hands. <laughs> Cinderella, I'm so glad we could meet again. Take care. Bye. This is 
no fun. How can we spy on them if they won't even speak? What's wrong with them? That Mr. Melville seems very proper and all, but he sure is boring. You're lucky. At least you weren't chosen as his fiance. Hopefully Cinderella will get rid of him. But he could be your one chance to get married. Don't be so insulting, Jean. You know very well I'll marry the prince. Now you're being insulting. Prince Charles is mine, and you know it. If I were you, I'd hurry up and get engaged to Mr. Melville. <clears throat> Don't be silly. Florent? Yes, Cinderella? When you met my father, did he tell you anything? Uh, no. Just that he misses you a lot. That's all. I miss him too. Uh, you and Isabel have become close friends, it seems. Yes, in a way. We helped each other through a hard time. I would be so happy if you could really be Isabel's friend. Pardon? She doesn't have any real friends. They say she's too snobby and spoiled by her father. But deep down, she's sweet and sincere, at least when I'm around. That's what I thought. Do you mean that? Absolutely. I don't understand it. Why do they keep talking about Isabel? If it keeps up, they'll never get engaged. What are you doing? Oh, n nothing, Mother. I mean, we're just making sure Cinderella's all right in there. We know she's not used to entertaining. That's what sisters do, uh, protect each other. Let me have a look. Uh, wait there. Isabel would have loved having sisters. I'm sure she really envies you for that. Oh. <gasps> We must uh, fix this door. Excuse me, dear. Sorry. Cinderella? Yes? a reception tomorrow. You're in charge. A reception? In whose honor? In honor of Mr. Melville, of course, and... and it could also be your opportunity to announce your upcoming marriage. What? You're very lucky, Cinderella. Mr. Melville's quite a catch. You'll live a privileged life as his wife. That's impossible. We have no choice, my dear. I'm not the one who organized this marriage. It was your father. He chose Mr. Melville, and there's no way to change that. But when did this happen? He wrote it in the last letter we received from him. No! I don't want to criticize your father, but he only thinks of you, his real daughter. He should have made arrangements to marry Catherine first. She's the oldest. It's not true! What was that? He would never make me marry someone against my will. You insolent girl! I will not tolerate your accusing me of lies! It's too much! Oh, I'm sorry! I didn't mean... You never fail to take the opportunity to remind me that I don't mean anything to you, even though I treat you... Oh, better than I do my own daughter, so... No, please, don't cry, Mother. <laughs> You're so cruel! Please forgive me. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. <laughs> If you really mean it, you'll marry Mr. Melville. I'm not ready for marriage. I can't do it. Think about what you're saying, Cinderella. Mr. Melville's family is very close to Duke Zorel. If you refuse to marry him, it could put your father in a very awkward position. He could even lose the post he's worked for all his life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here, Cinderella. It's all clean. Thank you. It's heavy. Cinderella? Yes? Aren't you finished yet? What's taking so long? If we're going to have a reception in Mr. Melville's honor, he should know about it. Go and invite him right away. Yes, ma'am. And don't dilly-dally like you always do. You still have to prepare the food for our guests. I'm going to change. I can't believe the nerve of that woman. Really? What a hypocrite! What a hypocrite. So, how are you going to get out of this? I'm still trying to figure that out. We can't forget, Jean. Cinderella has to be the star today, not you and I. So we have to make sure our new dresses are simpler than hers. What do you think of this? That's simple, all right. I'm thinking of buying this one. It's too fancy. You said yourself we should... Oh, oh isn't that Charles? Who? Where? That boy outside. That's Cinderella's friend, Charles. 
Really? She's engaged? They're going to announce it this afternoon. We're all so excited about it. Cinderella just can't wait to get married. I don't believe it. Cinderella? Hello. Welcome to our house, dear. Thank you, Isabel. Floral's out, but he won't be long. Why don't we have some tea while we're waiting? So your mind is made up then? Sort of, but I'm not sure I can... Florent is a remarkable person. I know, I have nothing against him, it's just that... You don't want to marry someone who was chosen for you. Exactly, I want to marry for love. I understand. Huh? I'm like you, I put up with so many things, but I'll choose my husband. Isabel! I want to marry someone I truly love. My father only thinks of honor and our family's status. I can't stand it anymore. He doesn't even bother to ask what makes me happy. Oh, looks like Florent's finally back. Go on, Cinderella. Why don't you two have a nice walk in the garden? Huh? When we were little, Isabel and I came here all the time. I can see why. It's beautiful. Is that a boat? Yes. We used to have boat races every day. Hmm. We both dreamed of sailing across the ocean on a real ship. Really? I've always wanted to see what else is out there. To see what other people and places are like. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Hello, Cinderella. Charles, what are you doing here? Are you Prince Charles? <laughs> Not at all. Florent, I'd like you to meet my friend, Charles the Fibber. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> and they lost it all. <laughs> hmm? What is he doing here? He always brings trouble. Girls, listen to me. Uh -huh. I want you to go over there and make conversation with Cinderella's friend. When he saw me, he ran away. <laughs> <laughs> it's only going to be for a few minutes. But, Mother... I'm telling the truth, Cinderella. You know it's impossible to tell the difference with you, Charles. If her marriage with Melville doesn't go through, one of you will have to take her place. I was counting on this event to make sure one of you marries the prince, and I won't let you spoil it. Are you sure you're not pulling my leg? I wouldn't dream of it. Welcome to our little party, Charles. Thank you, ma'am. It's quite splendid. Why don't you come along with me? We'll get a nice plate from the buffet. I appreciate the offer, but I couldn't eat another bite. He's as insolent as Cinderella. How dare he refuse my invitation? Well, perhaps you would prefer a walk in the garden. It's beautiful out. What a wonderful idea. Will you come with me, Cinderella? Of course, Charles. <laughs> Cinderella, I need you here. Wait! More punch, Duchess? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm not thirsty. Oh, I just want to tell you. Oh, the reception is lovely. Thank you for inviting They're gone. They smell so good. Thank you for saving me, Charles. Huh? Mother wants me to announce my engagement to Mr. Melville, but I can't bring myself to. If I stay outside until the party ends, I'll be safe. Well, maybe there's a permanent solution. What do you mean? Well, just take a look at Isabelle and Florent. Did you ever stop to think they might love each other? Huh. Now that you've pointed it out to me, I realize that Florent only smiles when he talks about Isabelle. And Isabelle's voice seems happier when she's talking about him, too. I still dream about sailing. Me, too. And traveling the world. You're not too quick, Cinderella. I realized they were meant for each other the very first time I saw them together. Don't be so smug. <laughs> <laughs> this is a disaster. Cinderella and that boy seem to get along much too well. If I don't do something, Mr. Melville will lose interest. <laughs> Oh, I don't believe it. 
I could use your help getting those two together if you're up for it, Cinderella. Of course I am, Charles. But what about the Duchess? Huh? huh? <laughs> what have you got there, Patch? This looks like the letter we just received from Father saying... <gasps> she was lying. He intended Catherine to be engaged. Well, that changes everything. <laughs> My dearest friends and honored guests, I have a very important reason for giving this celebration for all of you. You see, uh, we have in our midst a new couple who will soon be united in marriage. They're young, handsome, with their whole futures ahead of them. It must be these two. What a perfect match. Congratulations. <laughs> yes, you guessed right. It's the delightful couple you see in front of you now. Let's give them a hand. Now, congratulations, Florent and Isabel. Congratulations, you really are the perfect man. Oh, Isabel and Mr. Melville, they cannot be. <laughs> we can't do this. Yes, we can. You're engaged. We wish you all the best. Huh? Now I can finally tell you that I've never loved anyone else but you. Me too, but I was afraid that if I told you, it might ruin our friendship. And I thought my father would forbid me to see you again. I was afraid too, Isabel. But thanks to Cinderella and Charles, we'll never have to be apart again. Ever. No, wait! This, this is not who I was talking about. I meant... Wait, please! There's been a mistake! No one is listening to me. Don't cry, Mother. Don't let everyone see you like this. I've got you, Isabel. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Papa. I know you'll understand someday. Isabel, Laurent! Oh, dear. It's Cinderella. Goodbye, Cinderella, and Bye. thank you. Take care. Be happy. I hope someday you'll be as happy as we are. Thank you, Cinderella. Write me soon. Come in. What? You're sure it was Isabel? Yes, Duke Sorrel. She left Duchess Talbot's reception in a boat with Mr. Melville this oh, afternoon. Don't believe it. Go out there and bring her back. But, sir, they're gone. My dearest Cinderella, Florent and I are wonderfully happy living out our dream of sailing across the ocean together. I think of you every day and I thank you for giving me the joy you deserve, your friend Isabel. What a nice letter. Good for them. She sounds so happy. Yes, she does. Cinderella? Oh. Cinderella! Yes? The entryway needs to be swept again. Since you didn't marry Mr. Melville, you'll have to keep doing chores. Yes, ma'am. I'll do it right away. Someday the Duchess is going to pay for her nastiness. She's so mean. It's not fair. I feel like going up and giving her a piece of my mind. At least she didn't trick me into marrying the wrong person. <laughs> <laughs>